1975. The Vietnam War has ended. Arrests are made in the Watergate scandal, and a young man co-founds a company called Microsoft. Our view of the world is becoming larger, and our community is changing. At the same time, halfway around the world, a group of Hmong people in Laos are forced to flee from their homes and find their way to refugee camps in Thailand seeking political asylum. Mennonite Central Committee responded to this crisis in 1979. Several hundred Hmong people were sponsored by Mennonite congregations. 42 Hmong families settled in the KW area. I was the uh, first Hmong uh, family that came to the Kitchen Waterloo area, and my family was sponsored by the uh, Bloomingdale Mennonite Church. Our first arrived in Kitchener Waterloo area here, very strange. Fear, not understanding how the culture, everything, very shocking. When the Hmong first came to Canada, there were many changes that they had to go through and many differences in the two cultures. So they needed a safe place to come to where they could talk and where they could figure out what it meant to live in Canada. The Hmong community continued to grow in the area. Through the encouragement of their sponsors and a need to preserve their culture and identity, seven families began to meet and worship together. And some of them in New Hampshire, some of them in Kitchen Waterloo here, we uh, need a place to, to service together to uh, maintain our Christian uh, life. And they were searching. And they found that the Mennonite people had been their sponsors, had been kind to them, and many of them chose to join the Mennonite church, forming their own congregation. And also with the help of the Mennonite people, we able to make our journey from New Hamburg to Kitchener and to our own church in Kitchen Wallu here in 1996. The uh, Mennonite uh, background and the Hmong background very similar to each other. I start understanding that the Mennonite having uh, some uh, difficulty in life as uh, the Hmong people. Many of the Mennonite also being persecuted as the Hmong being uh, persecuted in the war. As immigrants and refugees come into Canada, they find our world confusing and know that they have to go through many changes. We as Mennonites have a chance to create a safe space. We can welcome them, we can walk alongside of them, we can be their friends, and together we become the neighbors that we want to be to each other here in Canada.